Hello, gorgeous. My name is Jessica Angelari, and today we are speaking about sensuality, one of my favorite topics to speak about, and how to live a sensual life. What does it mean to live your life sensually? Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my channel if you are new here, where we speak about all things related to sensuality, love, sacred sexuality, and the feminine. And today, yeah, I was just really feeling into this topic of sensuality because it's not uncommon that we move in our daily lives only in habitual patterns that have already be, been placed on us as this is where we tend to feel more comfortable most of our lives where we have been told that it is most acceptable so rushing moving forcing through things it's just the way that we've been taught in this in this world because sensuality and pleasure and living a life fully turned on is definitely not something that this society or culturally that has been fully accepted as our natural, take that in, natural essence as women. Sensuality and putting that in the driver's seat is not even considered, let alone really celebrated as this natural expression of our feminine womanhood. Usually what I have seen is, especially with women that come into my space, is that, is that it's very common for them to come from a background where they have felt connected to their spirituality. Maybe they do yoga, they have danced, they like dancing, but they just know that there is still something missing. There's still something else. And that's generally where I came from as well. And they realize slowly after walking into my spaces or doing my programs like Feminine Remembrance, it was this feeling or living life fully according to your sensual expression, living in a way that is filled with pleasure, which is your birthright, and this connection to the body, to the womb. So I'm really feeling like women are desiring access to their own natural radiance and to also feel comfortable and to feel safe enough to receive to receive what is truly meant for your heart and to recognize that life has this beautiful potential, unlimited potential to provide us with so much pleasure. And I feel like this goodness is something that we are desiring to tune back into and to practice again. When we are turned on to our pleasure in our body through our sensuality, something switches on. It's like a light, our light, our radiance switches on. And maybe we didn't even know that it was there. Maybe some of us don't even know what that feels like yet. But when we turn, tune into this sensuality and we switch that light on, we start to walk around with this sense of magnetism, worthiness, a trust, a knowing in our own wisdom, a power, and this can only be accessed when we are fully plugged in to the body, plugged in to our sensual power of ours that is unique to us, this sensual expression. And it can only be turned on when we are anchored into the body and we allow the body to lead us or the feminine to lead us. The feminine works through the body rather than being and moving through life from the space constantly from the mind. I'm not about diminishing the mind. I'm about integrating the mind. But we really do need to work with our sensual aliveness through the body because we have been rushing. We have been hurrying and focusing on what others are thinking of us and listening to all the strategies on how to do life, how to do relationships, how to do business. 
And then it just doesn't fit right. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel natural for us. We feel when we start to get caught up into all of these shoulds and expectations, we start to pull away from this beautiful essence of ours, our natural organic feminine. But when we start to work with the feminine through rituals, through beautiful embodiment practices, we start to connect with her tingles and the sensations in the body. And through this, we start to switch on our natural radiance because we know how to surrender. We know how to lean back. We know how to just feel fully alive and really turned on in our own self-worth. We learn how to reconnect with the body and we know it as well. And we treat the body as a holy temple to continue rising up in love. And sensuality is such a beautiful gift to breathe this love in and out. And I know that you are here just like the other women who come to work with me, I know you are done with feeling disconnected from yourself or from others or from your partner. You're done with feeding into this idea that your sensual expression is shameful or that it's some something for someone else to enjoy and not for you. It's time to see that your sensuality is possible because it's you, okay? It's your natural essence. And I do feel like it is your turn. It is our turn as women to be turned on in your feminine and to allow her to lead your life, fully feeling and experiencing life through your senses. And I know that if you are here, you are desiring to be more connected with your body as well as your pussy. Because when you start to tune into her, it means you are activating your sensuality. You start to trust yourself. This is the place. This is our anchor. This is the portal to really knowing ourself deeply. And that's what sensuality is about as well. It's how you relate to yourself, how you relate to your body, how you relate to others around you. So when a woman walks through along this sensual journey, they realize that pleasure can be derived as well from every single moment. It's the ability to turn the sensation of the wetness of your mouth, the air in your skin, or the kisses from your partner, the golden sunsets, the smell from beautiful, the vibrant radiance of flowers, especially the rose that I love to speak about. And we can turn these sensations that would be normally overlooked into something more pleasurable, into an enriching experience because we start to become more present with whatever we are relating with in that moment. So the question is, dear sister, are you living a sensual life? Like really be honest with yourself. Is it part of your everyday way of moving and breathing through life, even through the challenges? Now, if you feel like I'm not very sensual at all, that's okay. The thing that I always say really is awareness is the first key. It's our first pillar, the awareness piece. To be aware of how we are moving to ourselves, to our emotions, to our sensations, to our partner, to our, our loved ones. So often we feel disconnected from our body and from our truth from ourselves because we are so overstimulated, you know, because there is so much access to information and with social media. I'm very glad. I'm very grateful for that because I wouldn't be able to sit here and deliver this message to you in such an easy way. So for that, I'm really grateful. But then I also think at the same time, there is also a lot coming at us and we have to really anchor in to know what feels energetically aligned and this is what sensuality helps us with to feel 
right? To feel how am I, how am I receiving this? I used to think that my sensuality was for someone else. And so I was really good at expressing myself sensually. I've always been, I didn't realize this was a gift of mine. The thing is, I wasn't, wasn't using it to my highest potential. So I was using it in ways to receive validation, especially from men, because I was insecure at the time. I was really feeding into my own self-doubts and my own unworthiness, the ideas that I'm not good enough. And so I knew subconsciously that my sensuality was actually a beautiful gift and a magnetic tool to call in what I wanted And so I was feeding into this idea of what sensuality is, but feeding into the idea that was given to me, it wasn't my idea or my image or frequency of sensuality. It wasn't mine. And so I was magnetizing what wasn't truly aligned to my heart. And then when I did start to tune into this gift of sensuality and I started to work with that in a sacred way, I was able to use it for healing because I was able to uh, soothe my nervous system and find those places within me that felt safe. I could build on that safety. This is what sensuality does. I was able to use my gifts my own unique gifts and use my sensuality for the greater good of my heart and then for others. Now, the reason why I'm saying this to you is that we don't realize that sensuality is actually this breathing force to healing. It is not only this image that has been portrayed as this idea of this woman alluring men into her world. Sensuality can look like that, definitely. That happens when a woman is really fully encompassing her body and she feels so good to be in her body and she feels worthy. Yes, this is what sensuality brings and we start to magnetize from this space. So when we start to walk this pathway of sensuality, you start to experience yourself differently. You open yourself to the vast mysteries of unlived experiences. You know yourself and you start to listen to yourself because you, you trust what's there and you trust your own unique gifts as well. You experience and you listen to the messages directly from your heart, not what everybody else is asking from you, but we can use sensual practices as a way to reconnect and return back inward. This is what the feminine is always asking for us. When you live a sensual life and you're bringing in sensuality as a way of living, you open to the wisdom of your womb. It means that you're fully occupying your senses, your felt sense experience. So living from this space means that you're not chasing the idea of pleasure or something better than what is here or this high vibe experience in your life or in your relationship. Instead, we just recognize that life has this beautiful potential for pleasure right now, even in the mundane. So right here in this moment. So you know that feeling when you're on holidays, you're relaxed, you feel so much, you're so happy, you're embodying this exploration, this frequency of pleasure through your senses. They're all heightened and you're feeling liberated and you're feeling receptive, you're feeling so connected. This is what you get to experience always. In that way, your hard experiences and emotions, they become an emotion that you get to move through you in a in a way that doesn't have to feel so challenging all the time. So that's what sensuality helps us to do. It doesn't mean that we're getting rid of the 
more difficult, challenging emotions. Instead, sensuality helps us to be this anchor and this pillar to just allow emotions to move through you in a healthy way. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention was we tend to hold a lot of shame around sensuality and what that means. It can mean that we have to start connecting with our heart, with our body, with our womb, with our vagina. It means we need to slow down. It might mean that we need to really express and allow this shame to come forth in order for us to really experience and use our sensuality as a way to experience the totality of life. So I'm really passionate about unlayering, this unlayering of shame and guilt that exists around sensuality. Because when you take this sensual path, you realize your sensuality is so important, especially if you're wanting to experience more whole body, full embodied experiences in the bedroom because it allows you to be more fully connected, dropped in, anchored, experiencing all of everything you're supposed to experience. So you and your body and your beautiful self, your beautiful goddess is so desiring to feel from you. So I have a passion for reprogramming not only our minds, but reshifting the blueprints given to us that sits in our bodies and our wombs to start viewing your sexual nature as this power of yours, as this portal into more awakening and upgrade into creating the life and the days and the businesses, the love that you desire. And that happens from this layer of sensuality. So part of this reprogramming, we can say, it's not really just from the mind. This is part of it, as I was saying before, but it goes beyond understanding. It's really about how can I expand the capacity to feel, to feel more and to feel safe to feel more, to maximize my pleasure potential and use it as a spiritual practice as well. So if we are constantly in a state of stress or numbness, or we are just afraid, we fear to go there and open up and experience oh, even your breath even this slow connection, even you just resting and pausing, giving yourself permission to do that. And we are in this state of stress all the time. This is not the place that we can access pleasure. This is why I always focus on touch, sacred touch in the beginning of my program, Feminine Remembrance, because your sacred touch is what brings you back into your body, your touch sends signals to your brain that I'm safe, sends signals to your nervous system that ah, I'm here, I'm connected, I'm peace. So this is why cultivating safety, feeling anchored in your body is so important. And that's why I'm so passionate about providing spaces where women can feel supported and loved in an environment, in a container, in a temple that is open to communication, that is open for them to fully be expressed and to just be themselves, you know, to experience this full spectrum of pleasure, which is your birthright, to feel fully open, to feel safe, to be seen, especially to be seen by other women, to be heard, to use our voices and to feel turned on, to really know your yoni, to explore your yoni, to realize that your yoni is there to offer you pleasure and to feel good and to start making this our default way of moving through life. You get, to, you get to choose that. Your life is meant to be fully embodied, experienced, erotic. You get to have that, sister. You just have to believe it and you have to choose it. And 
we can just start that by infusing sensual practices in our life. I think if every woman knew this power of hers, she wouldn't be afraid as well to say no when she didn't want something. She wouldn't easily give away her, her sex. And at the same time, she wouldn't repress it either. Like we have been taught to do that. Every woman's sensual pathway is different, but the root, I believe, is the same. The root of safety and connecting with your root, connecting with your yoni and listening to your yoni, this beautiful rose of yours, a sacred rose, which has so much mysticism and wisdom to share with you. If we just tune in, connect, offer her some love, some touch, some breath, and we can take charge of our own life. And then through this sensual connection, we know love because we know how to receive love from ourselves. We know connection. We know intimacy. We know compassion for ourselves. So sister, let me know if you are ready to live this sensual life. If you are, I invite you, if you haven't already, to join my seven-day erotic feminine embodiment program. It's free. It's a seven-day free program, and it's filled with different sensual embodiment practices to help you ignite your sensuality for a life of ease and confidence and self-awareness and connection. And if you want to dive even deeper, you can be held in a beautiful temple and a beautiful intimate container with me in feminine remembrance to come home to yourself. It's my 10-week transformative, healing, pleasure-filled program where we women come together and we really revive our own sensual pleasures through the body in the most sacred, beautiful, loving, gentle ways. I will leave you there. I hope you enjoyed this and you felt inspired just a little bit so you can start to begin your sensual journey. And if you are already on this sensual journey with me, oh, I'm sending you a big hug and I'm sending you all my love, beautiful one. If you liked this video, make sure to like it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, just check to see if that little notification bell is on. So then you can stay updated uh, to all of my new videos that I love sharing with you every week. Thank you so much, gorgeous. My name is Jessica Angelari and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Mwah.